Hi, I'm Jody Perowitz. I'm from Halifax, Massachusetts from Perowitz Cycle Fab. My thoughts of the new Nightsta is it is a cool bike. Um, it's very innovative with some new designs, but still kind of a old feel of the Sportsta. Um, in my bike, I wanted to give it kind of a 90s feel, so I did um, a teal paint job. And I also wanted to make sure that it stuck out. My my father and I's thing is paint. That's, that's what we do. That's what my father has built his business on. So I wanted it to be you know, that people are looking at the six bikes or any Nightsters and they say, oh, that's Jody's bike. That's, that's the one that she did. Whether they know it or not, they'll think that that is my bike because of the bright color. When Holly approached me to customize this bike, I was ecstatic to do it. Um, the, the only thing that was a hurdle, was an obstacle, was the time frame. Um, and because this is a new model, there isn't much stuff out there for it. So pretty much everything that we had to do, we had to make work. So we either had to physically make it, um, we physically made the exhaust. Um, I got together with Reinhardt's and made an exhaust from scratch for it. Um, the wheels, we had to make different spaces, um, different hubs. We had ordered a 21 inch front wheel and found out that we got the wrong hub. So we to switch the hub um, so in the time frame that we had it kind of limited us because there is nothing out there for this motorcycle because it is so brand new but I think that already in the say six months that this has been out that there's already going to be a lot of aftermarket stuff because it's a popular bike already. My favorite components of the Nightsta would be that it's got a bigger motor. Um, it's a light, nimble bike, so having a lot of power, whether you use it or not, that's at your discretion, but at least you know it's there, that if you should need it or want it, you got it. One of the big challenges that we faced building this Nightsta um, was actually the paint. Um, I know this had nothing to do necessarily with the model or anything, but I said I wanted to do this bright teal color, because teal I feel like is a hot color right now. And uh, my dad was like, well, Joe, we have this uh, house of color teal that we you know, can use. It's an old color, but it's a nice color. So I was like, yeah, let's do it. So we thought that we had enough and paid in all the pieces except two pieces and realized we didn't have enough. So we were like, oh, we'll just order it. Come to find out, it, uh, they don't make it anymore. So um, we found somebody that supposedly makes this color. So we um, overnight the color, get it, we spray it, not even close to the same. <laughs> We were in panic mode, um, and we obviously were in a time crunch that we had to get this done. Uh, we ended up putting literally Facebook messages out there, Instagram, any social media for anybody that has this particular color, you know, laying around. And uh, fortunately, we found a guy that had a quart of it that he's had for 15 years. Yes, it was like, phew, we were already coming up with backup plans of, all right, we're going to have to repaint it. And I had already done the graphics on it. Like, it would have been a nightmare to have to, I mean, it would have been, we were already scrambling as it was that we would have really had to put in some time to repaint this. So I was clicking my heels. I could not have thanked him enough for, you know, sending us that, that extra quart of paint that saved us. <laughs> and um, that was probably our biggest hurdle, um, as well as also uh, the rear wheel on that bike. The hub, it's a cush drive, but it's a different cush drive than an FL. So ordering a rear wheel was a, was a challenge that we would have had to have a custom hub made because that being such a new model, nobody has made it. Nobody has made the hub yet for it. Um, but other than that, we we really put as much effort as we could in the time frame that we had into that bike, and I think it came out great. I, I hope that the Nightsta keeps becoming a cool bike and popular and a good seller. Okay, my favorite thing on the Nightsta would be the paint. 
Uh, paint is what I do. That's how I make make a living. So I was excited to do the paint. I wanted to give it that 90s feel with the triangles, um, the gold leaf, the, the flake. Um, we were able to do the solid, the pearl, teal, and then add the flake to it. So it's kind of two different bases and I'm, I love it. I think it came out really good, exactly what I wanted. I think all the other Knights are cool in their own sense. Um, it's neat that, you know, uh, Speed Merchant, he made it kind of like a, a flat track, like a hooligan kind of style, and that's his thing. Um, you know, everyone brought their own aspect to it, and, you know, even exhausts to the fairings to build in a, a tail section. Um, it's cool that everyone kind of really put effort into it and made them unique. Building this Nightsta was a cool experience. It was cool working with Holly, you know, one-on-one -on -one and getting this model before anybody else saw it. And I'm proud to be out here at the Born Free Show and with it on display so everybody can see it in person.